Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We continue our journey on exploring the basics of malware. In this video, we are discussing a technique which is extremely prevalent amongst APT level threat actors and it is called DLL side loading. DLL side loading is a technique where threat actors abuse the way Windows loads DLLs by placing a malicious DLL with the same name as a legitimate one in a trusted directory. So when the application runs, it unknowingly loads the malicious DLL and so in essence the threat actor is able to gain code execution in the context of the trusted process. DLL side loading is also a technique which is commonly used for persistence and bypassing security controls. With that, let's dive in. Alright, so here I'm in my virtual machine and I have this uh, GitHub uh, ticket open in front of me where a user is reporting a vulnerability of DLL hijacking or DLL side loading in Notepad++ version 8.5.4. We can see that this ticket was logged in August of 2023 and what it says is that Notepad versions 8.5.4 and earlier are vulnerable to DLL hijacking where attack which allows attackers to execute arbitrary code by placing any of the following DLLs in the same directory as Notepad++. So these are the DLLs that um, the reporter found. So um, if we talk about DLL side loading, um, when a threat actor is able to detect that an application is vulnerable to DLL side loading, they are able to replace uh, the DLLs with um, the DLLs which they, they have found to be exploitable. They can replace those DLLs with their own malicious DLL and are able to get uh, code execution in the memory or the address space of the process. So they are talking about these three DLLs. Firstly, let's see how these three DLLs were discovered as being vulnerable. So let's go to process monitor. I have set up a filter over here and the filter I've set process name contains notepad. Operation is create file. Result is not success. I will press OK over here. If I go to the folder, I have my notepad plus plus 8.5.4 version this is the portable version um, i have downloaded this in my dll side loading research folder when i run notepad plus plus over here the application opens and i have all these um, events related to the filter that i had set up and you can see that there are a lot of dlls which are not found um, not all of these DLLs will be susceptible or vulnerable to uh, DLL hijacking, but there is one DLL here which looks interesting, msasn1.dll, and this is the DLL that we are going to be targeting. This is not there currently in this uh, Notepad++ folder, and we are going to create our own malicious DLL and place it here. All right, so let's do that. I have a Visual Studio solution open here in which I have a sample DLL. Basically, when you run the DLL, what you're going to see is the process ID and the process name uh, in a message box. So it will tell you what is the process it is running under and what is the process ID and the process name, etc. Let me build this DLL. So rebuild solution. All right, rebuild is done. Let me go to the output folder. 64, release, and we have sample dll.dll over here. Copy this, and I will place paste this in the Notepad++ folder. So I pasted this here, and I'll go to this event. I'll copy the name of this msasn1.dll. Uh, let's now go to our uh, sample DLL which we have placed there. Press F2 and replace the name. Remove DLL from here. Let me minimize everything and let's see what happens. So if I run Notepad++ over here, you can see that the DLL has been loaded. This is the exact same message box that we had added. And we can see that the application that is running 
it has a process id of 6296 and the application that is running is notepad plus plus so this shows that we are able to load our malicious or our custom dll in the address space or the memory of the notepad plus plus application and when i press ok our notepad plus plus is also executing so that was a quick video about uh, DLL side loading. Uh, the code for the uh, the sample DLL is uh, uploaded on my Discord and it is readily available. Um, and uh, I will also share some links about uh, related to this ticket and the uh, MITRE ATT&CK FRAMEWORKS uh, explanation about DLL side loading as well. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for your time.